I am very happy tonight to announce this evening a new effort towards sustaining Manresa well into the future. I'm acutely aware of the contribution of the many people whose names are very familiar to those that are in this room. Jim Maloney's father was an instrumental advisor to Father Wernert as he wound his way through the labyrinth, which was the 1960s. I have pictures that I gave to Jim of his father talking to Father Wernert. William Bodie, who stood in the gap during the rebuilding campaign after the fire, and with his own treasure, as surety guaranteed the building. George Reichenbach, who mentored me and instilled a passion for Manresa, which inevitably led me to accept employment at Manresa. <coughs> and many others, including my own father-in-law, Bud Beach, who consistently and persistently, he was my father-in-law after all, <laughs> insisted that an annual retreat is as important as any other single thing I could do for my spiritual well-being. We are announcing the public phase of the Sustaining Manresa campaign. The campaign is in anticipation of celebrating Manresa's 90th anniversary, which is in September 2016. We will be planning for the event all next year, and we will have occasion to revisit our history and remember that is to reconnect to it again. The campaign has two main components, and that's why it's called Sustaining Manresa. First is stabilizing the grounds through renovations to current buildings and improvements on the grounds. Capital uh, projects include the creation of a new and improved sacred spaces, several of which have been sponsored already. The labyrinth on the grounds, we'll have a labyrinth on the grounds. It's a prayer walk. And uh, that's through the, the generosity of Mary Bressens. <laughs> the labyrinth will bring a lot of people to them. So mm -hmm. looking for that prayer walk. Improvements to the Station of the Cross pathway, and everybody in here knows that needs to be done because of the generosity of the Molnars. Thank you very much. We also have a number of others, including the restoration of the historic barn, which we think was built around 1870, not too long after the Civil War, to make it useful for other activities, especially for youth. The effort, the second part of it, is to provide funds to ensure that the McGrail Fund still continues to fulfill the aspirations of those who established it in their wisdom so many years ago, I can tell you right now, we would have grave difficulties sustaining retreats at Manresa without the McGrail Fund and the income that comes from them. So I'm very, very thankful for that group of people that established that many years ago, some of which are, I'm sure, in this room. <laughs> there are more details we would like to share with you, and to do that, I would like to invite one of the campaign's co-chairs to the podium. I invite up Frank. Is it Migliato?